you. Uh, first time I saw this gentleman participate, it was here. Um, he ran a 46.92. Yeah. And then he, he, he came back and ran 46.70. And then he topped that off at racing 40, 40, excuse me, 45.93. Four. 94. Yeah. Um, a gentleman who really doesn't need an introduction. I call him Carson W.R. Holm. <laughs> he is a, a reigning three-time world champion. Um, so how did you feel about today's race? It's been a little, very long season. And, um, you know, Kevin, as a 400-meter hurdler, you might be familiar with, you know, the post-championships feeling. You know, it's always tough. You know, you have achieved your goal. Been drinking maybe a bit too much of champagne. And, you know, getting back on that horse is, is tough. But at the same time, I, I've actually I've changed my mind because I have, I'm hosting my own meet in Norway. I will invite you once. And after I did that, you know, I, it was so many people canceling on the meet. And I was like, shit, it's so difficult arranging a meet. So when I promised to come here to Zurich way before the world champs, when I was super stoked, I wanted to, you know, hold my promise. And I gave it my all today, but there was one guy that was stronger. And to me, it might also be a good wake-up call that I had to be on my best to win, even though... You know, um, I, I usually tend to win. I think what people really like about you is you, you're the kind of athlete that never ducks competition. I mean, you actually look forward to running and racing against each, each and everybody in your event. Yeah. For someone who's been um, such a great athlete at the level, how do you compete running the 400-meter hurdles um, at the particular level? And how do you feel and how do you do that both physically and mentally? What, what, what would motivate you? What motivates me is to always run faster and of course that is also why it's tough after a championship because you're tired, you've achieved your goal and to get back on there is usually just because you want to get some more races in. Um, but what motivates me all the time is, you know, to always learn how to cope with the pressure, cope with the nerves, get some hurdle races in and, and always strive to be better. I want to run faster, of course. One more last question. What do you feel about the new record holder uh, in the men's 400 meters there in Norway? Wow. <laughs> Howard, um, he, is, he is a great guy. He is a guy for the future. So, you know, it's, it's big up to him and huge respect. So I know that we will be seeing more to him in the future, and hopefully we can compete sometimes as well together. And other than um, Noah Lyles' controversial statement about um, world championships, you had your little bit of controversy as well in Budapest, but it seems that you came out. I got one thing I got to say. I probably could have took you in Budapest with my 46, 70, uh, 78. <laughs> you could, actually. You could. And, uh, and, you know, I think, you know, it's you were also one of the great competitors. And it's funny, you know, Americans, you guys, you talk a bit different than us in Norway. We are a bit, you know, we, we, are, we are farmers, most of us, so we are more like... You know, the way we speak is is probably not that, you know, confident, but... Don't say that. <laughs> People have shed the light on, on, on confidence. People love the way you go out there. Yeah, yeah. You slap your chest, slap your face, yeah, you scream cool. and yell, you get really fired up, no, you get the, the crowd fired is, up. The thing is, I'm actually, I'm actually quite confident, but I know that when you step on the line, I know there are people that can beat me. And I think also because I know that... I'm not unbeatable. I will always try to do my best. Well, we really appreciate you here. I'm going to let you get you some rest, let you finish up your season. But thank you very much for sharing, this, sharing your time with us. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it.